Hey, this is Mia with Design. In this video, I'll show you a super helpful feature in Design that lets you create images from text and keep the same face consistent across all your designs. And no character training is needed. This feature gives you the best of both worlds, the flexibility of the text to image tool and the ability to keep your character's face consistent across different settings. Best of all, it's available on Design's free plan. Let's dive in and see how it works. Let's first make a cartoon with a face reference. On the dashboard, create a new project, choose an aspect ratio, and click on text to image. First, we want to choose the style from the many options available on Design. This time, I'll pick the Tune Portrait, which gives us high quality 3D cartoon results. In the text prompt box, we can describe what we want to see in the image. And here's the text prompt I have for this one. A witch wearing a witch hat in a purple robe is happily dancing with beautiful butterflies around it in a stunning forest. Now I could write out every single detail, but I'm going to let Design's prompt improver do some of the work and add more details for me. If you want total control, you can leave it off. In here, we can choose the aspect ratio of the image. I'm choosing 16 by 9 for this one. And here comes the start of the show. Let's turn on face match. Now we need to upload a reference image of the face we want to use. In this case, I'm using Angelina Jolie's face here. So keep in mind that the image you upload can greatly influence the result. The AI will generate the face based on this reference image. What you upload is what you'll get. We can also control the color palette here. I'm going to leave it auto for now and show you the comparison later. Also, if we have a previous generation we want to recreate, under advanced setting, we can fix the C number here to generate a similar result. Now let's hit generate and see what we get. These results are amazing. The facial features are transferred perfectly and even the hairstyle is kept. So in my experience, most of the time, the AI will preserve the hairstyle unless you specifically tell it otherwise in the prompt. This is great for maintaining a consistent look and you just have to describe the outfit with details in the text prompt to keep the rest of the character consistent. We can easily use these to create a Pixar style story with consistent character. Now what happens if we do use a color palette? If we control the color palette when generating the same image, for example, let's remove the purple in te the text prompt and try this pink Barbie one. We can get something like this. We can also create our own custom palette. This allows you to easily blend in your brand colors naturally into your generated images. It's a really powerful way to customize the look and feel for branding. Design can also create super realistic style images. Just select the realistic style, repeat the same steps as before. And for even better results, turn on HQ mode for high quality. Then hit generate to get realistic AI image with the same face. One thing I found is that the expression of the reference image would affect the generated image. So if you upload a happy face for an image that's meant for a more serious vibe, you might get something like this, which I created with realistic style with this reference image. You can see that the vibe is a bit out of place. But if we're using a face with a facial feature that fits the theme better, like this one, we get something that's more aligned with our vibe. Let's try another style and this time I'm putting my face in it. I'm going to switch gears and select GTA Miami. I've always wanted to see myself as a badass video game character and we'll see. Here's my prompt. I'll let the prompt improver work its magic this time as well. Here I uploaded my photo for the face match. And I'll also apply my custom color palette which has the purple and tail accents. Let's generate. These results are absolutely amazing. Now we can all turn into a dream characters easily. Other than just realistic people, you can also reference cartoon character faces in your images. With the same style and different text prompt, we can create consistent characters for stories with this feature. And of course, Design also has a complete suite of consistent character tools to help you create consistent character. But this face control feature within the text to image tool can give you more flexibility 
and extra control to create something uniquely yours. And here are some of the images I created with my face as reference. Do you think they look like me? I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Try it yourself with the link below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Happy creating!